day at work, smileys. See y'all later. Hey smileys, what is up? I couldn't wait to show you guys the stiletto shaped nails that I mentioned in my last video, so here we go. First up is prep. You guys already know the routine, unless you're new to my channel, and if that's the case, welcome smiley. Perfect nails always start with proper preparation. I always remove any old polish first and then I trim if necessary. I don't know if you guys caught my last video, but I cut them pretty short last time. So I skipped the trim this time around and moved on to filing to get them even and smooth. I followed this up with an orange stick to clean underneath my nails. And this time I'm actually using a metal cuticle pusher to push back and shape my cuticles. This tool has a spoon-like rounded end that's used for scraping away the hard to remove skin on and around the nail bed. And the rounded end makes it really easy to get a nice shape on your cuticles. After that, I just go in with my buffer to do some buffing and smooth the surface of my nails. This also creates just enough texture to help the fake nail adhere better. After that, I wipe away the dust and then wrap up my nail prep with a quick wash using my Mary Kay white tea and citrus shea scrub, which smells amazing by the way. And then I towel dry and we're done. Okay. This is the same brand nails as last time, just a different shape. These are the stiletto shape, and I believe last time the nails I, that I used were a coffin shape. I also purchased these on Amazon, of course, where else? This kit includes 500 nails in two different sizes, just like the last time. I've selected the sizes that best fit my natural nail bed. Then I used a file to further shape them until they were a perfect fit for my itty bitty, teeny weeny, tiny fingernails. From there, I used a little bit of nail glue to apply each nail. Now, I'm actually still perfecting and working on how much glue to use. This time around was definitely better than last time, but that's how it works, right? Practice makes better, not perfect. Practice makes better. And this is something I love to do. I truly enjoy doing my nails. I always have. I like different colors, different lengths, different shapes, different designs. Anything goes, almost almost anything goes it's fun for me and i appreciate you guys for watching too so here i'm just carefully placing the fake nail directly over my real nail making sure the bottom curve lines up with my cuticle that's how it looks best you don't want to have any spaces between the cuticle and the fake nail press it down for about five to ten seconds to let the glue set and be careful not to put it on crooked because the glue does dry fast and I just repeat this process over and over with all of the remaining nails. Okay, these are quite long, honestly. I'm not even sure how I'm gonna function with these, but I guess I'll figure that out later. Oh man, I'm in trouble. There we go, all done. After I have all of the nails applied, I do a bit more filing to remove any ridges from the nails and to define the shape. If you're happy with the way that they come straight out of the package, great. No need to file, just feel free to skip this step.
Finally, it's time for our paint job. You guys know this is my favorite part. This color is called I Feel the Earth Move by Spa Ritual. It's a deep, deep, deep wine, as you can see, and I'm in love. So let's talk about the shape. A stiletto nail says you aren't afraid to do you. It doesn't even matter that your manicure makes texting or typing an email take three times as long. Ain't that the truth? I really love the way these turned out. As I said, it's always better than I expected. I applied two coats to get the true color, which is amazing. And then I um, use an orange stick with a little piece of cotton on the end, dip it in some fingernail polish remover and or acetone to clean up any mistakes to make sure that they are perfect. So after coat two dries, I use my OPI clear top coat to finish the job and we're done. Well done, smileys. See you guys next time. I love you. And here's my sad attempt at trying to do a heart shape with my new claws. Mwah. Love you guys.